to our virtual class on veterinary entomology and protozoology. I will be your instructor for this uh, course. I am Gary Dilesaga. I am an instructor one of the College of Veterinary Medicine, University of Southern Mindanao. Before we are going to proceed to our lecture proper, let's have first our class orientation. So there are two methods that we are going to use for us to be able to conduct our lecture for this class. The first one is the asynchronous type of learning. So what, the, what we are doing right now, uh, we're in, you are watching a pre-recorded video lesson of our lecture is an example of an asynchronous type of learning. So other types of asynchronous learning that we can use now in our lecture are viewing video demonstrations, reading and writing assignments, and student presentations, as well as individual or group projects. The other type of learning that we can use is the synchronous type of learning. So in a synchronous type, uh, synchronous type of learning, uh, this is the type of learning wherein the students are engaged at the same time. So for example, when we are going to conduct our Google Meet, you know, so that is an example of a synchronous type of learning. So what are the teaching and learning activities in this uh, course? So there are a number of uh, teaching and learning activities that we can use for us to be able to uh, conduct our lecture uh, in this course. So the first one that we are going to use is the Google Meet. So again, uh, Google Meet is an example of a synchronous type of learning. Uh, we also have our official uh, learning management system the USM, USM VLE 4.0. So the VLE stands for Virtual Learning Environment. So the next one is uh, YouTube. Uh, we are going also to use uh, Facebook Messenger and we also have our Google Plus. So in conducting the synchronous learning, we are going to use uh, Google Meet. So there are some rules that we are going to follow in order to conduct or in order to participate in Google Meet. So the first one is we have to show up at the correct time and stay in the Meet for the entire time. So for example, when our class is uh, 1 uh, p.m. To, uh, to 2 p.m., so you have to be there at least five minutes before the start time. So you have to be there at 12.45. Uh, uh, 1255 uh, for example and of course you have to stay there until uh, the class is uh, dismissed mute your microphone until you are called upon to speak keep the sidebar chat on topic so on when we are going to navigate the Google meet you can see there that we have their uh, chat box that uh, we're in uh, that the chat box can be used to ask questions now about our le the lessons so that uh, chat box should only be used for that purpose so aside from asking questions about the lesson you can also share some uh, helpful resources about the topic you may or may not turn on the video as long as you listen to the lecture and uh, you should also limit the background noise so your teacher and the classmates can hear you clearly when you speak. Do not talk when someone else is talking. So you, you just have not to mute your microphone or you not to disturb your classmates. So those are just uh, some of the ground rules that we are going to follow when we are going to conduct our Google Meet. So again, uh, Google Meet is a synchronous mode of learning. So the Google Meet link will be generated through USM VLE 4.0 and the link will be will then be sent to the class group chat in Messenger. So Google Meet shall be done during the scheduled class hours for the course. Our official learning management system for this course is the USM VLE 4.0. Again, the VLE stands for Virtual Learning Environment. So for you to be able to enter this platform, you need an institutional email or the USM Gmail account. And you also need an enrollment key for you to be able to access the virtual platform. 
and uh, the the enrollment key for our subject but para three to one it what is already sent now in your uh, group chat in messenger so this is what our course looks like in the usm vle 4.0 so in this uh, platform our class syllabi will be uploaded in, in this platform uh, and all our topics all the handouts and the lecture materials for the course uh, all the soft copies now about the lecture materials of the course will be uploaded in this um, platform so for asynchronous learning we are also going to make use of youtube so in youtube we, we have our official uh, youtube channel the pinoy vet akads so this uh, channel will be a site where all our lecture presentations will be uploaded. Lectures here are uploaded regularly and are arranged in playlist format so that you will not find it difficult to navigate and search the lesson you wish to view. So everyone is encouraged to subscribe to this channel to keep updated about our lesson. Uh, another um, Another is uh, through Facebook, so you can also like and follow our FB page, Pinoy Vet Akads, to be updated with our lessons, announcements, and some useful info about the course. Another is, uh, we also have a Messenger. So in Messenger, we also have our group chat. You also need to be a member of this uh, group chat for you to be informed regularly about some important announcements about the course and also to communicate with your instructor. So in cases wherein the USM VLE 4.0 is under maintenance or is not available, we also have our Google Classroom uh, to the rescue. So I already made our Google Classroom for the course and we also have here the class code for the um, for this course. For the lecture presentations, uh, we are going to make use of PowerPoint and we are also going to make use of Canva. Our course number is VET PARA 3 to 1 and our course title is Veterinary Entomology and Protozoology. For the credit unit, so this course has a credit unit of 4. The lecture has uh, two units. Two hours will be intended for lecture per week. And for the laboratory, the laboratory has six units. Six hours will be intended for the laboratory per week. Our lecture will be every Tuesday and Thursday, 8 to 9 a.m. And our laboratory will be scheduled at Tuesday and Thursday at 9 to 12 p.m. For our course description, so this course shall prepare the students to be oriented with the biological characteristics of insects, arachnids, and protozoa of veterinary significance. It aims to describe the morphology, life cycle, epidemiology, and clinical significance of these parasites. It also aims to discuss the effects of these parasites to its host and the appropriate treatment and control needed. For our course outline, our module one will be class orientation. Our module two will be, uh, will discuss about the basic concepts of veterinary parasitology. The module three will discuss about phylum arthropoda and the class uh, insecta. For module four, it will uh, deal with the suborder nematocera. So when we say suborder nematocera, this includes uh, the blood-sucking insects, mosquitoes, black flies, biting midges, and the sand flies. For module five, we are going to discuss about the suborder brachycera, and this includes horse flies, house flies, and chachi flies, to name a few. For module six, we are going to uh, discuss about the order Seponop uh, Seponoptera, which are also known as 
the please. For the module 7, we are going to discuss about the orders, Malifaga, Sifongpilata, and the Hemeptera. The Malifaga are also known as the chewing lice, the Sifongpilata are also known as the sucking lice, and the order Hemeptera are also known as the true box. For the module 8, we are going to discuss the class Arachnida, which includes the ticks and mites. For the next module, module 9, that will be uh, about ectoparasiticides. So ectoparasiticides are chemicals that are used for the control of parasites on or in the skin or the hair coat. In module 10, we are going to discuss about the introduction to protozoology. So that is the study of protozoa. On module 11, we are going to discuss about the phylum sarcomastigophora. So the phylum sarcomastigophora includes uh, the amoeba, giardia, and trypanosomes. The next phylum will be under module 12, that is phylum apicomplexa. And the phylum apicomplexa includes the imeria, toxoplasma, and the sarcocystis. The last uh, module will be the order Pyroplasmida. So this is uh, the order Pyroplasmida is under the phylum Apicomplexa and it includes uh, Babesha and Telaria. For the course evaluation, the university grading system shall be adopted where the term grade shall constitute 33% of the grade proficiency and long examinations and 67% for the term examination. So when we say term grade, that, that, that can refer to the midterm grade or the final term grade. So the final grade shall constitute 33% of the midterm grade, 67% of the final term grade. The passing percentage in an examination is 75% with an equivalent of three Point zero. For the classroom policies, kindly refer to our class uh, syllabus, which was uploaded in our official VLA.